So Connor, off the back of two wins in a row now, how's the mood in the camp heading into Saturday? Of course, yeah, of course it's positive. It's always nice to get six points in, in three or four days, whatever it was. So two, two big results, especially after losing the first game. Um, it was important to bounce back and I think we've done that really well. Yeah, just speaking on Tuesday, then, it was one of those sort of gutsy performances that really ends you. Your, your three points, so what do you sort of take away that as a, as coaching staff? Uh, listen, I think it was plain to see we control the game from, from minute one to minute 98, wherever it was added on. So we get 77% possession. They had three shots and one on target. And for a team that scored seven goals in the first two games, um, that shot was how dominant we were. So I think we were well deserved the three points. I think with 10 or 11 men, I think the goal was coming. And I think you can see that in everything that we've done. So to dominate a team like that, who are got some excellent players and an excellent manager, um, it's testament to the boys and the, the work we put in in the, in the days leading up to it. So we're really pleased with the performance and obviously we'll try and back it up now tomorrow in another tough game. Obviously there were a few big names missing on, on Tuesday. Is there any sort of update to them if they'll be involved tomorrow as well? Uh, to, be, to be fair, the injured lads are progressing well. Brownie's still a couple of weeks away. Um, obviously Cabamba's got a knock on his knee, he had a scan, so we're not sure of the time frame of that, but I don't think it'll be a long one. So we're hopeful of getting the lads back. Um, obviously Wilkinson pulled out on the night uh, in the warm-up, so he shouldn't be long, he should be back um, in a few days as well. So we'll have lads coming back, the reinforcement are coming back, which is a positive. So the important once we get everyone back, we can use the squad a lot more, especially when you have, do have weekends with Saturday, Monday or Saturday, Tuesday. So it's important to get them lads back with us. Looking ahead to tomorrow then, Southend have obviously had a, a decent start to the season, they're picking up five points so far. What do you really sort of expect from them uh, as the test tomorrow? Uh, listen, they've been one of my favourite teams in the league for the last two or three years. I think the way they play is excellent, similar to ourselves in terms of the high intensity they work at. They don't give the opposition a minute, so they'll press from the front. Um, they've got a lot of good players and a lot of athleticism in their team. And To be fair to Kev and his coaching staff, they've, they've gotten well drilled. They're an excellent side, I'll say, one of my favourite teams personally. So that's a um, testament to the work they're doing down there. So we know how tough it'll be. We had two really tight games against them last year. Um, we picked up six points, but to be honest, we could have easily picked up a draw in each game or even lost both games. They were that tight. So we were fortunate last year to come out the right end of the result and we'll hope, be hopeful that's the same again tomorrow. The big crowd is expected tomorrow from both home and away fans. So how crucial is it to have the fans right behind us for the full 90? Listen, they were excellent Tuesday night. They, um, they sang, they kept singing, they kept pushing the group and... I think that's important when you get to the later stages of the games and we're knocking on the door and they can feel that. I think the fans gave energy to the boys in the last 10, 15. Obviously, it came through for us with the late goal. So we'll need that again tomorrow. South End will bring a big following like they always do. They're a big club in this division. So they get brilliant attendances at home and away and we're expecting a big following from them. So we'll need our fans to be in good voice like they were Tuesday. Thanks for your time, Connor. Cheers, Ed.